So the, the Democrat Party is holding a big rally on the 23rd of June. This Thursday. Yes, mm -hmm. a week before election, at Rajapresong intersection, mm -hmm. right in the area of action. Okay. What do you think is the thinking behind it? Uh, absolutely, they are throwing the caution to the winds, mm -hmm. so to speak. Um, I did not, I never expected this uh, mm -hmm. strategy before, but it's mm -hmm. understandable. Mm -hmm. Why do you think they have to take this drastic measure? Uh, they must have looked at all the opinion polls and they've seen that they have to do something. This is uh, it's just a Hail Mary uh -huh. kind of strategy for the Democrat Party. Because yeah. the slide in the opinion polls is just the popularity big. Is, is, is so big, is mm -hmm. so, um, it's so large that mm -hmm. they have to do something about it. Mm -hmm. They have nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. But on the same day, the Pur Thai Party has said they will come up with the National Reconciliation scheme. So mm -hmm. it would be sort of two extremes. Yes. One is reconciliation. The other is going all out for the confrontation that mm -hmm. you burn down the city. Why should people elect you? Mm -hmm. Why put Thai, <laughs> who has denied all this burning uh, accusation, right. is coming up with a very sort of compromising attitude? Well, uh, but if, if, if we think about it, Kun Abhisit can say on that day that we have been through this before. Yep. During the Rachel uh, protest, at the height of the Rachel protest at Lata Song, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the Abhisit government was proposing something uh, reconciliatory. Yes. They proposed like a, a seven step or five step yes. uh, measure mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. to achieve peace for Thailand. Yes. And uh, Kun Abhisit can say on that day that you see, we did this. We did the very same thing before mm -hmm. concerning mm -hmm. Raja song. So I am not going to be worried about that mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about uh, the possibility of confrontation between uh, the Democrat Party and the Red Shirts more. At the intersection? On that day? On that day. Because it's like the, the area is like a shrine for mm -hmm. the Red Shirt people. They, uh -huh. they, how they gathered there mm -hmm. for many weeks mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the people were killed there mm -hmm. and they have been pro uh, pro uh, gathering in, in, in the same area every month yes. e ever since so it's mm -hmm. like a, a a place to soccer to <laughs> to, to worship as far it's as very symbolic for them very symbolic for them but Apisit says that no one can monopolize a specific location <laughs> so the song right. is for everybody it's public space Mm -hmm. So and it is deliberate. Yes. It is a deliberate move by the Democrats to sort of stir up emotion among perhaps the undecided voters. Yes, that, that's what I think. They, mm -hmm. they, they, they don't want to sway other groups of people mm -hmm. who already have made up their mind on this election. Mm -hmm. I think the target of the Democrat Party is to sway mm -hmm. the undecided voters. Is this for the Bangkok people or is this a nationwide sort of campaign? I still believe that it is aimed at the Bangkok people. Uh, uh, and, and if you take these uh, latest opinion polls into mm -hmm. account, mm -hmm. it's very really worrisome mm -hmm. for the Democrat Party. Why? Because of the 33 seats, how many would the latest, they get? Uh, the latest uh, we heard is that the Pure Thai is going to win as many as uh, 26 seats. 26 out 26 of 33. Out of 33. So um, they, they may have taken a look at those polls and decided to do something about it. Mm -hmm. So the gloves are off and it's going to be a real f mm -hmm. fist fight. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't think this is for the provincial people. This is for the Bangkok. This mm -hmm. is to remind the Bangkok people of mm -hmm. what did happen last year. Is it also because uh, Kun Jing Lak has refused to debate Kun Apisit in any of the forum? That, that could be another reason mm -hmm. also. They, they don't know what to do with Kun Jing Lak. <laughs> she just doesn't respond to any kind of provocation. She doesn't have to because if mm -hmm. you are on the winning side, if the polls show you so good, then you do not have to get involved in any fisticuffs or any mm -hmm. exchange of blows. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. And and I, I still believe that uh, the Pure Thai Party is that doesn't have to be worried much about uh, mm -hmm. this Thursday. Mm -hmm. So I'm worried about the potential, the possibility of the crash or a, a confrontation mm -hmm. at least between the red shirt and the Democrat people. But in a way, are the Democrats really looking for a confrontation? 
Are they trying to sort of provoke some of the wretches to do something that could sway people's opinion in the last 10 days I, I, before election? I, I think they want to provoke emotions. But to, not necessarily uh, the Richard's uh, no, reaction to, to, to remind the people who still maybe have forgotten mm -hmm. really how it, feel, how it felt mm -hmm. uh, by, uh, in May or April last year. They, mm -hmm. they want to do that, mm -hmm. just to uh, maybe to, to turn things around. I, I, I'm not sure whether that's going to work for them. It's very risky. It is. it is a risky gamble for the Democrats who have resorted to this last ditch effort to regain its popularity in the election on July 3rd. But whether it will work or not would depend a lot on how people perceive yes. this attempt to go all out to accuse the Pur Thai Party of burning the city. The Pur Thai Party has denied it, but the Democrats keep on harping on the issue. We shall see whether the voters think the Democrats are doing the right thing or not.